avert your eyes as Crow and the unnamed Harvester get a little, little, little lovey-dovey. And I think I'm successful. The tree giants are going for a little bit of a ride. Ooh, welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. My name is Crow, and today we're getting married. That's... That's the thing. Today's video is about Crow getting married. Uh, this is level is called Crow's Wedding. You can find it in the campaign simulator workshop and it's created by Zombie Saiyan. And the first level is this one right here. Crow finds his woman. So I, I guess this is me. I guess I'm him. The knight, which makes sense. If you look at my avatar, right? My avatar is a knight. It's Chromie, isn't it? The knight's cream. My avatar's name is Chromie. If you didn't know, Crow Me, K R O M I E. Crow Me is the name of my little knight dude. And this is us. And this is not. This is a a, a harvester. Interesting. So we're supposed to defeat the harvester. Shouldn't be too much of a problem, especially when I I heal Crow. Me, I I heal me. Do you guys ever healed you? You're not. Oh, I healed the harvester. My bad. Hi. I want to heal. I want to heal me. Not not her. Me. I I'm me. I'm getting really confused here. Why am I fighting with a sword behind my back? That's not a very good strategy. Oh, the shield bash in the face. Oh, it was so rude. The next part of the story is called love. And now all of a sudden, I'm, I'm gone. My knight, me, I'm me, and me is no longer here. But now we have Cupid. Is Cupid trying to hook me up with this harvester? Why am I marrying a harvester? Whose story is this? Well, it's obviously the story. Apparently, I'm the harvester. Not the harvester. I am me, and I'm Cupid. Oh, here's the problem. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, there's me. No, hold on. Oh, oh, no. No, no, hold on. I did not <laughs> notice the other units. There's another Cupid. Cupid is twin brother. Cupid. I got nothing. Anyways, here's me. And here's... Now we're... Now, now... If you are, um, if you are a young person, um, avert your eyes as Crow and the unnamed Harvester get a little, little, little lovey-dovey, a little, little something-something, if you know what I mean, a little, little something-something going on. I don't know who's gonna win. Okay, guys, I can't watch this anymore. I can't watch this anymore. I have to end it. I have to end it now. I <laughs> couldn't. Couldn't stand watching that any longer. The next level is called Going Different Ways. Here's me. Me, the knight with the knight me. And me is looking at... Oh. Oh, King Philip apparently has brothers? Let's name them. In the middle, you have King Philip, the one, the only. On his left, you have his brother, King Earl. Another beautiful Earlish kind of beautiful king name. And then on the right, you've got King Duke because he's like, Duke, dude, my name is Duke. I'm a serpent, dude. Okay, Duke's a bit of an outcast in the family. And it seems like these three are not going to be all that kind to lovely um, whoever I was making out with before. <laughs> oh, that didn't go well. This level is called... God powers. Now there's me. There's me and all my meanness. Me and all my me glory. And uh, behind me are ballista bolts. Three ballistas. And we're staring at King Duke, dude. Righteous Duke. How you doing, bro, dude? I just like talking like that. Don't mind me. And I get a funny feeling that these ballistas are going to do a number on Mr. King Duke. Yeah. Uh, yeah. King Duke just kind of... He took two of them in the arm. Of all places to take ballista bolts. The arm? That's enough to kill Duke. And this level is called Not Here. Apparently, this is not where we will find our love of our life. Um, Death's Kingdom, Mr. Death, Mr. Death himself. I don't think this is where we would find um, our wife because um, I'm not marrying Death. There's me over there staring at Death, telling Death right now. Sorry, dude, I, I can't marry you. But there's a ballista. I didn't even notice the ballista back there. Hey, Let's go help the ballista out, shall we? Time to save me. It's so weird trying to save me in the game. Trying to save me. Here we go. Uh, start and then hit this person with the ballista bolts. And now it's a <laughs> one ballista bolt was all we needed, but we were rapid firing ballista bolts. Sorry, death, Mr. Death, sir. You'll, you'll, you'll respawn your death. That's what you do. This level's called wait. So now what? Now I death respawn and he brought friends and I'm still looking for my wife. I don't know where my wife is. So there's me being me in death's realm again. This time with no ballista back up. What am I supposed to wait for? We're going to die. So to save me, because I don't want to die being me and all, we're going to do a hundred Zeus bolts in a 45 degree arc like that. This should be fascinating in three, two, one, 
activate slow mo goes out. Uh, 45 degree may not have been enough. Oh, uh, may not have been enough. Yo, hold on. Oh! Oh, I was wrong! Death is on my side! Mr. Death's on my team? I was so confused. I thought Death was facing me. If you remember, his back was to his army and he's betraying them. So Mr. Death himself is trying to find me a wife? Or is Mr. Death himself offering to be my wife? Uh, Mr. Death, I'm super flattered, okay? I appreciate the sentiment. I got no issue with that. I just want you to know, not India. It's okay. I'm looking for um, a beautiful maiden, a wonderful lady. And uh, hopefully we'll find that as Death goes in and destroys his army. Sorry for shooting you with the Zeus bolts there, Mr. Death. I thought you were on their team. This level is called Love Unites. Oh, look. Hold on. Why, why would you... But, but, but what is going on here right now? Why am I being me, the me that is the knight, here with this harvester? But there's a small man hobbit here remember this is a hobbit this is not a child this is a hobbit why to, is this how we're getting married to, to get married do you have to like stand upon zeus's altar and then kill a hobbit to declare your wedding vows i don't know how i feel about this but okay apparently neither of us can hit a hobbit and there's a little shield bash there this hobbit another shield bash the hobbit's still alive there we go third shield bash and i now officially declare me husband and wife Question mark? And ladies and gentlemen, this level is called the cast. It seems like we are showing off the cast of people. So we have this random club over here who's about to get, uh, he's, he's the audience, he's you. He's the audience watching this love story unfold. You've got King Duke dude on the left there, bro. You've got Helga, um, Helga and Larry. I guess they're like my, is this just like the best man? Um, Larry, um, you okay there, bud? I guess this is the maid of honor. And then you've got, I don't, we haven't even named my wife. Why am I married to this woman? What is your... I don't even know your name. Then you've got me playing as me and a random man with the background. I don't know where he came from. I, I don't know how he's relevant to the story. Manny is my my steed. It is husband and wife jump on Manny and ride into the sunset as happiness forever. Is that what's going on here? And um, I'm sorry to my lovely audience. You're being hit by Larry's potions. And then Helga's going in for the headbutt misses. And then me, I, me, and Mr. King Duke dude is trying to get in there. <laughs> Uh, this is the weirdest campaign ever. This campaign is called Larry and the Championship Crow Please Play by Owen Six. And apparently King Philip has kidnapped Larry and is forcing him to fight in a coliseum for his freedom. So Larry's brought a couple of friends here and they're versus Benny the Bard. Benny, what are you doing? This is not where you're supposed to be. You're supposed to be on Crow's side, not against Crow. Benny, Wenny, Venny, Denny, Lenny... Uh, Steny, I'm running out of names, guys. We're all of Lenny's siblings here. But uh, the Harvester and all these units are about to completely destroy Lenny and all of his friends. And and, and Zenny. And that one's going down. Bye-bye. Is anyone left? <laughs> There's Larry throw emotions. There's one. There's poor Benny. Benny. Ah, oh, you poor thing. But this is for freedom. Larry needs his freedom from King Philip. This one's called Larry versus Benny and Helga and Bjorn. So Benny's on our side. The Berserkers are moving in. No, 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 no. We can't. We can't let you Berserkers get in here on Larry, our boy. So we have our God powers enabled. We have stopped time. And now I'm going to use the fans. Oh no, 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 no. Oh my God. Oh, I'm summoning probably way too many fans. Um, I just probably summoned like three thousand fan blows. Hence all the lag. See that lag? That's because it's trying to animate the fan blows. Here we go in three, two, one, slow mode. <laughs> I did not. Oh, look at all that fans. That is insane. I just dropped every unit super far back. Can I like blast every unit off the map? Okay, let it go. Let it finish. Let it animate. Let all the fans happen. Okay. Okay. There we go. Now, if I go over here, right? And I go here. I keep forgetting that I'm like spawning a hundred fan blows and then here. I keep aiming towards that hole. Can I just shove every unit out the hole? Is that what can happen here? Can I just make a really crazy like, oh my God, I can't wait to see. Go! More fans! Oh, I need more win than that. We need to step out the win. So um, I might regret doing this. I'm holding down left all while summoning pockets of 100 fan blows at a time. This is going to be ugly in three, two, one, go! Oh my god, there's so much wind. Oh, I'm on slow-mo, guys. And the wind? Yes. Get out the hole. It's not enough wind, guys. It's not enough wind. 
Hold on, what if I just shove a whole bunch straight out the hole? Look at all the, look at all the units out there. Yes, yes, okay. I'm gonna sit right here, guys, and I'm just gonna paint. Oh, oh, that might have been bad. That, that, I, I might, I might have done too many. I might have done too many. Let's go up and let's watch what's about to happen in three, two, one. Slow mode, activate, fan blows. It needs more. I need more oomph and the oomph I have provided. What if I walk up to about here, guys? And I just summon a bunch of fans right there. Let's watch. Let's watch. Three. Oh, if I can get out of here. Uh, the lag. Three, two, one, go. Blow the units off the map. That's what we're talking about. Not as good as I was hoping. I want even more awesomeness. And that was a whole bunch of units that seemed to be like buried in here. You can see them trying to like fight their way out of all the corpses of their fallen friends. Oh, uh, let me just, you know what? Let's make it rain apples <laughs> I, love god. I love god powers now it is larry helga bjorn and benny and apparently when we defeat them they join our army it is these four versus death and his army himself let's see what all of our lovely uh, uh bob ross units can do as they charge in and oh my goodness bob rosses are getting completely destroyed by death and there's vampires in the back Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What would happen if I shot Melissa bolts out the hole? Like that. And 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 that. Oh, that might have been bad. Three, two, one. Slow mode go. Oh, I want to go see. Oh, look. I just, I just painted that hole with death as things go flying. I love it. I don't know why I find that so much fun. It's just amazing. It is just so powerful. Death has been destroyed. All these enemies sucked into the black hole. I don't know who's left from the blue side. There's a lot of Ballista Bolts there. Oh, pretty much nobody. He pretty much shoved everyone out of the hole. That's amazing. Death has joined our band of merry men on their journey to escape King Philip's arena. And now they're facing three mammoths. Now, this should be pretty easy to defeat if they were floating in the sky as they're each shot with 20... Balloon, not enough. All right, let's just go. Even more balloon arrows, and more balloon. I will make them fly. These mammoths will fly. There we go. Have you ever seen a mammoth fly? I've seen a dragonfly. I've seen a house fly, but I've never seen a mammoth fly. What if I make them fly even more? Just keep flying in the sky. Push mammoths alive. You're alive. You can fly some. Oh, never mind. That was the final shot. My bad. Don't worry. We got it, guys. It's good. On to King Philip we go. We have added Manny the Mammoth to our ranks, finally unlocking the ability to include Manny. And now we are against General Rocky. Now, many of you guys in the comment section have told me that General Rocky was indeed the catapult. But here, considering his positioning, the General Rocky is this knight soldier right here. Now, for our lovely friends here. I want them to go out with a bang. I want them to be proud to have explosive amounts of pride. Yeah, I'm, I'm bad with the whole bomb puns and such. But regardless, there's about 200 bombs going in. Oh, man. Even in death, the healers are trying to heal poor General Rocky as he goes blasting off into the sky. So General Rocky has now joined our party. Our party is up to six people. Not too bad. And General Rocky has brought his armies against these Minotaurs. Mini the Minotaur. And I actually don't think I need to use God Powers here. I'm pretty sure that this army could take out Mini the Minotaur and her friends. No problem. Now, you'd be saying, bro, why is Mini a girl? Aren't Minotaurs boys? Yeah, but they need to, like, you know, how do they make baby Minotaurs without having girl Minotaurs? They're not like walking cow people. They're all minotaurs. Therefore, there has to be girl minotaur. It only makes sense to me. The level designer didn't give me enough points to summon all my friends. So I got many in here. Many's here. But uh, we need to take on Ricky the Ninja, I think was the name. I think the one video we made of Ricky the Ninja. We must take him on. And I have the perfect solution. These samurai need a little bit of love. They need to love each other beautifully. Love each other wonderfully. <laughs> Look at our heroes come in and not know what to do because everyone's already making out on the ground. <laughs> now our band of merry folk must take on Hugo. We couldn't again fit everyone. If you're not going to let me, I feel bad that I can't fit all of our friends in here. But Ricky's here, our new ninja friend. He's coming in to help us fight the ice giants. Now, do I need to... 
have a little bit of assistance now that Ice Shine's madly in love with himself. I don't know if I actually need to step in here, guys. I think we're uh, doing pretty good. I think the Ice Giant. Oh, the Ice Giant did a flip for some reason. You okay there, Mr. Ice Giant, buddy? Oh, he's punching. He's fighting. Larry got knocked down. Larry is down for the count. The ninjas throw ninja stars. Death is fighting Hugo face on. In comes Bjorn. There's Ricky throwing his knives, throwing his shurikens. Mr. Rocky is feeling a little awkward. His sword is stuck in his arm. Not a way you want to fight. Death is against the wall, but doesn't care what the humongous side swing he takes down Hugo. This is it. The final battle. Larry and his team versus King Philip. Take a look. You've got Ricky the ninja. You've got Helga the headbutter. You've got Bjorn the thane. You've got Benny the Bard, you've got Larry the Potion Seller, Mr. Death himself, Minnie the Minotaur, Rocky the Knights, you've got Manny the Mammoth, and you've got Hugo the Ice Giant riding Manny the Mammoth into battle because no other steed could possibly carry an Ice Giant. And this is King Philip's castle. I'm a little bit concerned. There is a lot going on here, but I do not want my team to get ruined. And I also don't want to summon more units because lag is already bad enough. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to give all of these archers a wonderful gift of wind. They're going to give them a bit of a gust, a, a, a beautiful gust of power. In fact, I'm going to do the same thing over here to these lovely horses. And then to our lovely ice giants or um tree giants. They're not ice giants, they're tree giants. I'm going to take them on a little adventure in three two one go slow mode harpoons all the archers blown off all the knights blown off and the tree giants i'm trying to drag off the map i'm trying to drag them and i think i'm successful the tree giants are going for a little bit of a ride now we have a bit of a problem look at the sheer number of units in that pile i think a little bit of lightning is in order here we go boom in goes the lightning chain lightning just ruins everything inside of that place oh my god the amount of death that just happened allow me to say hello to these vlad the impalers over there in go our lovely team in go our allies but they're being bombed from the top the catapults are up here what are they doing hold on hold on hold on, hold on. these catapults need to go down there we go chain lightning hits the catapults chain lightning hits those catapults as well a little bit more little bit more lightning a little bit more lightning fantastic let's take a look inside there is a lot of death going on here allow me to illuminate the situation and add a little more lightning to your life Kira the pirate queen what are you doing here not anymore i just wiped you out into oblivion may spinners more vlads there's just so much going on in here poor manny can't get in manny Manny! Oh, there's a Vlad here. Let me help you. Oh, Vlad's dead. Manny, can you get in? Let, let Bjorn, Manny, let Bjorn in. If you're too fat, let Bjorn and Ricky in. You might push Ricky off the map. There's Bjorn, still alive, surveying the amount of destruction in this zone. Something seems to be alive here in this corner. I don't know what it is. Oh, that was the last unit. This one little executioner was the last one. King Philip has been defeated. 